Good morning, LMP. In today's show, we're going to have a recap for a homecoming week, ask the question of the day, go over upcoming college visits, and take a look at this week's Senior Spotlight. We hope you're having a great start to your Thursday morning. My name is Abby Harley. Now let's go to Casey Wright, who's around campus. Thanks, Abby. LMP recently celebrated Homecoming Week. There were a number of events that took place all through the campus. Let's join our middle and upper school TV production team as they take us back to the fun festivities of Homecoming. Coming kicked off on Thursday, October 9th with LMP's annual fashion show. The entire school gathered in the gym to watch the upper school showcase what students can wear during the week. It was a very energetic and exciting performance, especially when the student body president, Marcus Gray, dressed as a cheerleader with his fellow senior boys to promote the Powder Puff game. It was a great show that the students enjoyed. For GNN News, I'm Lee Karlinski. Homecoming week lasted from October 9th to October 17th. On these days, we saw Class Spirit Day, Generation Day, Disney Day, and the Talent Show. We also had the hallway decorating contest and the powder puff games, each won by the junior class. I'm Jared Harden, signing off for GNN. Thanks everyone. We're so glad that everybody had such a good time last week in this past weekend at the dance. And I know that we can't all wait for what next year's homecoming week will bring as well. And now here's our own senior homecoming king, Gabe Legier, with this week's question of the day. I'm Gabriel Legier, and the question of the day is, if you're lost on a desert island, which teacher would you help you to survive the most? Ali Peoples. So Ali, what's your answer? Um, Coach Darnell, because his inspirational speeches would really motivate me to <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm here with Aniston Riche. So Aniston, which teacher would you pick to be on an island with? Ooh, that's tough. Um, if I had to pick a teacher, I'd probably pick Sweezy, because she's really smart and she'd be entertaining. And I feel like if any danger came our way, she'd protect us and she'd beat some people up. Nice. Uh, probably Miss Sweezy, because she does CrossFit and she can like cut down all the you know, stuff that we need, the food, and the trees, and make houses, because she's just, just CrossFit, so, I mean, Miss Sweezy. Thank you. I'm here with Omar. Omar! Omar, if you're lost on an island with a teacher, which one would you have better chance to survive with? Omar! Miss Alcobia. Why? Because, um, because she's, I uh, mean, smart. Yes. Thank you. I'm here with Vince Zang. So, Vince, what's your answer? Uh, I think uh, it would be Tuxedo. Because I think now he's a fake teacher, he knows how to use the, the 
uh, substance in Alanda to make him survive. So uh, I think uh, that's his right answer. Thank you, Vince. I'm here with Jake. So Jake, what's your answer? Uh, Miss Bumgarner, because she's very strong, so she'd be able to protect me from all the animals. Once again, this is Gabriel Jair, GNN. Thanks, Gabe. As we go to break, stay tuned for our first Senior Spotlight. But first, let's take a look at some upcoming college visits and this week in history. Hi, I'm Jordan Jason, and these are the upcoming college meetings. On Thursday, October 30th at 9 a.m., the University of Denver meeting will be taking place in the band room. Remember to sign up through Naviance if you plan on attending any of these meetings. Thanks for watching, and be sure to keep yourself updated in case any details change. Nearly four decades after he became the first American to orbit the Earth, Senator John Glenn Jr. is launched into space again as a payload specialist abroad the Space Shuttle Discovery. At age 77, Glenn was the oldest human ever to travel in space. Thanks for watching, Brian Gary, GNN. We hope that you take the advantage of going to as many college visits as you can to get a broader horizon of potential colleges you may choose to go to. Let's now go over to senior Casey Wright as he introduces our first senior spotlight. Hi, I'm Casey Wright. Today's senior spotlight is on Michael Eastman. I've been at LMP for seven years now. Michael is a student athlete dedicated to his academics. While some people are new to LMP, Michael is a veteran and can show his past experience. Michael takes responsibility through all the actions he does. My favorite memory at Lake Mary Prep has to be Meritas Games, uh, my eighth grade year. It was my last year and it was just really, really fun to go to. The most I'm going to miss about LMP is the students, the teachers, and the school events that really brought us together as a family. The schools that I want to go to are Rollins, FAU, and UCF. Uh, basketball this year is going to be pretty good. Um, I like the team we have. Uh, the coaching staff is great. Michael is a motivated individual ready to set his new course on life in college. And Michael is doing positive changes. Um, he is by far uh, a leader in his class. He's got a lot of middle school students looking up to him, especially some of the younger male athletes, which is awesome. It's now time to wrap things up. We hope you have a great long weekend. So for Abby Harley back in the studio, and for me, Casey Wright, stay classy, LMP.